What's going on everybody? I hope you're doing well. This video is for those Wired Freedom owners out there. This guy right here, the 2024 Wired Freedom. Insanely powerful bike. Even if you don't own it, you might know about it. It's got 2,000 plus peak watts in the rear motor, 40 amp controller, goes close to 40 miles an hour. Very powerful bike. But what if you wanted to make it just a little bit more powerful? I always like that, right? Well, today I'm going to show you how you can do it. And, and it's free. Won't cost you a dime to do it. And it's actually a lot easier to do than you're thinking. Today I'm going to shunt mod the controller. We're going to pull that controller out of the box, open it up. I'm going to show you how to shunt mod it. It'll take like 10 minutes. That's it. And you get more power. And I'm going to go out and then test the power and show you the difference. I think the best way to probably show it would be on the hill climb because we've already got stock footage of the wire doing the hill climb. I'll shunt mod it. I'll go out, we'll run the hill again on our time trial and see if it got any more powerful any faster. So let's get started. All right, so first we need to get to the controller, which is inside this plastic box. So let's open it up, expose the controller, and then we'll open up the controller. So we just took out those four little screws that allowed our plastic controller box to open up, and now the controller is exposed. You might wanna take note of how the wires are wrapped around in there so you can fit everything back inside and reassemble it nicely. Now, the next thing I wanna do, before I start touching any of the wiring or anything, I'm gonna take the battery out of this bike and just kinda of get rid of all the juice that's in the system. So let's do that. All right, so we are gonna release this battery out of the frame. Give it a couple of quick hits. Battery is out, right? And now, the next thing you wanna do is you want to get rid of all the juice that's left in the system. So with the battery out, I'm actually going to push the power button and you'll see it's got a little bit of juice left. See the screen tried to come on? So now we released all that power that was kind of hiding in the system. We want all that out of there so we don't have any danger of getting zapped. All right, so we won't need to remove anything from the bike. We're just going to work with it right here. I just need to get into the end of it right here. So let's just open up these, take these screws out right here. All right, let's see if we can't pop this plate off of here real fast, just like that. All right, now we can see, we'll get rid of this little gasket as well. Whoops, I tore it. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. We'll move it out of there just so it's out of the way. There you go. All right, now we can see inside the controller and where we gotta get to is right there. Let me zoom in for you. So right here, this is what we're looking for. Those two little wires right there. All we're gonna do is we're gonna pinch those wires together and we're gonna solder them together and that's it. So this is gonna take literally a couple minutes to do. So let me get some pliers and we'll pinch these wires together just so they're closer together and I've got a better base for the solder to take hold. All right, so we're gonna try to get these wires pinched together a little bit without bending or breaking anything I mean. So they're bending closer. There, so now they're a little bit closer together. It'll be good for the solder to set up on that. All right, all that's left to do is glob some solder on there and we'll be all set. Okay, so let's give this a shot. I got the controller kind of angled down. That way if I drip any solder, it's not dripping down into the controller. And uh, we're just gonna glob some solder right here on these two wires. It doesn't have to be pretty. They just have to be connected together. It does, doesn't matter how pretty it looks it'll still work. So I'm gonna, this is, I tried to get some light here so you can see what I'm doing. And uh, this is hard to do with the camera in the way, but let's give it a shot. Some solder going on here. It's looking pretty good. All right, there we go. Just one little ball of solder on those two wires. Now we close everything back up. All 
All right, let's put this battery back in and see if it still works. We got power. Still working. Now it's time to test it. Well, we're coming up to our hill climb test. I won't know actually until we get into the editing if it was actually faster or not. I can tell you, it feels a lot jumpier right off the line. So that's a good sign. Let's get into our start spot right here. All right, let's put it in pedal assist five just so there's no questions. We got max power. All right, let's do this. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Off to a really good start. Wow, this thing is strong. And time. Man, I don't know. I mean, it was fast. The problem is I haven't ridden this bike. Holy cow, it takes off. I don't know, it feels jumpier to me. The power kick in, like, it feels like it kicks a lot harder. Especially with pedal assist. Wow. Well, we'll see in the editing. <laughs> I gotta get out of five. This is crazy, I'm gonna lose it. Let's go down <laughs> into two. There we go, all right. It felt stronger. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that. I did spend all morning riding a really slow bike though. So I'm just not used to the, the power right now, but man, it feels, it definitely feels jumpier off the line. Start. Yeah, I mean the front wheel came up a little bit right there. It feels more powerful. Now you won't know from the, the power meter, okay? Because we're kind of tricking the controller when we're shunt modding, so that's not really gonna be accurate. But man, this thing is power. Woo. Now if you want some real serious power, you can always put on my front motor kit, which I had that on this a little a little bit ago, a couple weeks ago, I put it on this bike. I'll show you what the, uh, here's what the hill climb looked like with my front motor kit installed on this. Three, two, one, go. Wow, great takeoff. A lot of wheel spin though. Concentrate through the curves. And time, holy cow. Wow. Wow, this thing's crazy. But let's go over here real quick. I wanna do a top speed run and see if anything changed. I highly doubt anything changed top speed wise, but you never know, we'll check it. Now this straight stretch up here is, it's kind of level for a while and then it goes slightly downhill, okay? So this is not perfectly level ground. Got a pretty strong headwind. So this is pretty level right here. That wind's holding me back though. 36. Now we're going a little bit downhill. why I say this is a 40 mile an hour bike because I mean you can go 40 you hit any kind of a little bit of a decline like that it's 40 all day long but man the whew, pedal assist five at low speed is dangerous <laughs> there's so much power it kicks in so hard you watch this going nine ten miles an hour pedal assist five it just jumps like crazy to 20 seven eight nine 30. Oh man. This is one bike though that you can do this. Keep up in traffic when you need to. Look at this. Look at this. This thing is an animal. Uphill into some heavy wind we're going 33. crazy and 
and I'm in fifth gear. I got two more gears to pedal. Well, there you go, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that little joy ride on the Wired Freedom. Wired, thank you, sir. Thrilling, as always, especially after the shunt mod. And uh, hopefully you guys found this video interesting, informative, maybe just fun. If you did, consider hitting subscribe. But that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching.